evening my friends uh, tonight uh, for our focus we will uh, be talking about Imhotep we don't know when he was born we don't know when he died but uh, the fact is that uh, he had a father a natural father named uh, Canofer he was a great architect uh, no wonder Imhotep was also a great architect and his mother was a uh, uh, Credouank, and then uh, his uh, wife was uh, Renpet Neferet, that's uh, his wife. So we know that he existed, and in 1926, the good thing is that there was a statue base uh, found at, at, at Saqqara that uh, designed, that described uh, Imhotep as, uh, as a carpenter, and also as a sculptor, and also as a contemporary of, uh, of Djoser, King Joseph is also known as a uh, net Jerry cat so he existed <laughs> and then he was recognized also as a sage so he was a sage he was an astronomer he was uh, uh, an architect as I already said and he was a magician <laughs> he was uh, also recognized as a, a high priest and he was uh, a scribe uh, he was a philosopher and he was vizier and to be a vizier, it's very important uh, for me to explain how the Egyptians looked at a vizier. A vizier was a supervisor over everything in the nation, in the country. So as a vizier, they uh, thought that uh, the vizier was the one who was supervising what uh, God sent, what, ca what came from heaven, and what uh, the earth created, and what the Nile brought. That was uh, what they understood by a supervisor, so by a, a vizier. So a vizier has, had to be somebody who was, uh, who, who was very knowledgeable of all the, uh, the fields that uh, were important for the well-being of uh, his nation. So he was chosen by the pharaoh, by the king, and he had to be the best. So when he was born, of course, a human being, born of uh, his father, Kanofer, and his mother, uh, uh, Cred Wonk, and then later on, as he was exceptional, they believed that he was uh, the son of Ta, Ta, who is uh, the god of healing. And also, when they talk about Imhotep, of course, they uh, quote him alongside other gods like uh, uh, Tot, who is uh, the god of wisdom, and Isis, who is uh, the god of uh, wonder works. So he, he is really quoted among gods. So when he lived, he was considered a demigod, but after he died, he was uh, deified. He's one of those rays, uh, those, those, those rare Egyptians uh, being deified and because he was a commoner. And then the other one that was also uh, considered fully god after his death was uh, uh, Amenhotep. So you have Amenhotep and Imhotep, the only one who, who were fully deified after the death. So, uh, Imhotep was a, a great, great guy, and he's uh, considered also as the father of, uh, of medicine because of all that he did. Uh, you have uh, the, the, the papyrus of uh, Edwin Smith that are believed to uh, have been written by, uh, by Imhotep because there, of course, and some other medical treaties where Imhotep explains that uh, the diseases and the injuries that uh, people may have are not always the punishment from God. <laughs> or also, sometimes people thought back then that it was something bad that was in inflicted by the Spirit. No, those were natural. And uh, Imhotep explained all that in uh, his treatise. And of course, he mentioned uh, some other things like uh, how to treat different diseases. And, uh, and uh, so it, it's recognized that... Uh, he, he was the one who wrote it, and of course, for him to be considered the son of Ta, who is uh, the, uh, the god of healing, it's because uh, in Egypt people saw that he was uh, the one that people went to when uh, they, were, they were sick. And of course, after he died, uh, as I said, that, or he said that he was deified, and there was uh, a cult uh, recognized for, for him uh, around five uh, 25 before Christ and uh, 550 of our era. 
he was really uh, uh, glorified. I mean, he, he, there was a cult for him. And also we have uh, in the, uh, the Roman uh, Empire also was influenced by, by Imhotep. That's why we have uh, Claudius also who praised him. Uh, we you know uh, Claudius and, uh, and, and other emperors also who recognized the power of, uh, of Imhotep. And they, they, uh, they, uh, they praised him. If you have, uh, yes, you have Claudius and, uh, and Tiberius, I, I believe. Uh, all those were those who recognized uh, the power of, uh, of Imhotep and they glorified him. So Imhotep was a, a great man uh, of God. He was a politician, a philosopher, a magician, and all that. But uh, above all, uh, people just looked at him as a god because all that he did, only a god would have done that. That is why they decided that he was, he was a god. So that's the end of our focus of tonight. Uh, you can go and learn more about Imhotep. Just to go ahead and do your research, do your reading. You will learn great, great things about Imhotep. Uh, who was an Egyptian, and uh, I will see you next month with another focus. You have a good one.